Esther. I'll be right back. Okay. Just have to get a book. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Just have to get a hat. Okay. I'll Emmett, be... Emmett, what are you doing? I'm helping God. You're helping God? Hey, would you like to help me help God? Because I don't think I can do this all by myself. What are you doing? I am gathering together everything that is on earth. Everything that's on earth? You're gathering everything that's on earth together? Yeah. Say, I can use this apple. Oh, Emmett, everything on earth is a lot of stuff. Yeah. I may need a bigger table. Emmett. I think that if you want to gather everything on earth, you need what you need is not a table. What you need is the earth itself. That's the only thing big enough to hold everything on earth. Esther, that makes sense. But if I have to travel all over the earth in order to gather everything all over the earth, hmm, this may take longer than I thought it would. So why do you think God wants you to gather everything together, everything on earth? I think that because I read it in the Bible, in a letter written to the Ephesians. Oh, Emmett, I think you mean the Ephesians, a letter written to church groups who lived in the city of Ephesus. Really? Well, that makes sense. I thought the Ephesians sounded like a rock band. So... What did the letter to the Ephesians say about gathering things? It said that God had a plan to gather up all things in heaven and on earth. So you have to gather everything on heaven and earth? How are you going to do that? Well, I hadn't actually figured out the heaven part yet. Maybe while I gather the stuff on earth, you could gather all the stuff in heaven. Or maybe... Maybe we could think about whether this passage from the Bible means something else than what you think it means. Oh no! Is this that Jesus thing again? Where Jesus says one thing, but it means something else? Yes, I think it is just like that. Oh, okay. What do you think it might mean? Well, if I remember the passage correctly, it also says something about God having a plan for the fullness of time. Yeah, it says that. The fullness of time. But that didn't make any sense to me. So I just kind of skipped over that part. Sometimes it's easier to read the Bible when you skip over the tough parts. Oh, Emmett, what if the fullness of time means the time when time is full? Oh, yeah. That's much easier to understand. I don't know what that means either. I think the fullness of time means when time is full of what it is supposed to be full of, God's love. When the world is the way God wants it to be, when people treat each other the way God wants people to treat each other. That would be like how Jesus treated people. He shared food with them. And he told them that God loved them and cared about them. And he always seemed time to have time to spend with anyone who wanted to see him. He even thought it was great to have children running around him. Yes, it's like when a family gets together for Christmas dinner or a birthday celebration. We sometimes say that the family has gathered to celebrate. So, gathering all things on earth and in heaven... It's like gathering God's family together. I think so. Jesus shows us that God wants us to find ways to live together as friends, family, people who know that we are all God's children and all of us are loved. Hmm. Say, Esther, would you like to help me put all this stuff I've gathered back where I got it from? Okay. I'll put back all the heaven stuff and you can put back all the earth stuff. Great. Wait a minute. And then we can say amen. Amen. <laughs>